A couple of years ago, we started a new project here doing carbon fiber right here in the Pacific Northwest. It took us a couple of years, a little bit more complicated than we thought it would be, but uh, you know what we came out with was great. And what we want to talk about right now is just how the process of how we make carbon rims. Carbon fiber is a term that gets thrown around pretty loosely, but generally speaking, it is the combination of carbon fibers in a matrix of resin. The carbon fibers provide the strength, the resin is what ties it all together. Prepreg is the sheet version of that before it's molded. It's where the carbon fibers are already in the resin. So the start of making a rim is the materials. You start with different types of carbon fiber and you create what we call flags. Flags are the small sections that you cut to put into your kit. And the kit is all the parts that go into making a carbon fiber rim. All right, the next step is what we call preform. As you notice, rims are curved and they're not flat. Yet the material that we're starting with is flat. So what we do is a step using a preformed fixture that we can apply some heat and start forming the material into the shape it's eventually going to be once it gets into the rim mold. So the layup is the most time consuming part of the process. It's where a person takes all the different flags that we created in the kitting process and lays them up in the correct orientations and in the correct places. The next step after layup is the oven. The oven is where you apply temperature and pressure at a specified interval to make sure that you are flowing the right amount of resin and you're applying the right amount of temperature to cure the epoxy. So after the oven step is the demolding, where we take the rim not only out of the oven, but we also take it out of the mold. You'll see a little bit of flash, we call that resin flash. That's the resin that flowed during the oven process when we applied the heat and the pressure. We basically clean that resin off and we're ready to go. There's no painting, no touch up or anything. This rim is as molded. We process these rims ourselves. We know that it's been drilled properly and of course we build the wheels by hand so everything can be top shelf from the start to finish. So back when the EOS was a prototype, one of the first tests that we did on actually was running RAM. Uh, Ralph Prima fielded a team for RAM. Uh, they ran EOS's tubeless, used it for the majority of the race uh, when they weren't in full on time trial mode and it was the most versatile wheel they could have had. Good aerodynamics, good lightweight, good braking power. Uh, you know, it, the team had great feedback for these wheels. 